Dear students, today we are going to talk about alkaloids. Alkaloids are naturally occurring toxic amines produced by plants mainly as a defense mechanism to protect themselves against herbivores. Alkaloids are products of secondary metabolism of plants. Alkaloids are defined as natural compounds with a basic character containing one nitrogen atom in a heterocyclic ring structure. The term alkaloid was coined by Meissner in 1819. Alkaloids are basic in nature and so referred uh, the term alkaloid means alkali-like. Alkaloids are usually colorless but several colored alkaloids are also reported. For example, berberine is yellow in color, sangonarine salt is copper red in color, similarly betanidine is red in color. The main toxic effects of alkaloids include disturbance of the central nervous system, digestive processes, reproduction, and the immune system. Why do organisms produce alkaloids? Because at some specific point in the life of the organism, these compounds have a primary metabolic function. Alkaloids are evolutionary relics, once having had a metabolic function, but no longer. Alkaloids are waste or detoxification products. These compounds are ecological survival agents like repellents, attractants, etc evolved to enhance an organism's ability to adapt to its environment. Next is distribution or occurrence of alkaloids. Alkaloids were isolated from many different terrestrial and marine sources, including amphibians, arthropods, mammals, insects, uh, then sponges, fishes, fungi, bacteria, and of course, Homo sapiens. Alkaloids are generally occur in all parts of the plant, but accumulated only in particular organ. The organ in which alkaloids accumulated is not always the site of their synthesis. For example, the edible tubers of potato plant are devoid of alkaloids, whereas the green parts contain the poisonous alkaloid known as solidine, right? Similarly, in tobacco plants, nicotine alkaloid is there. Nicotine is produced in the roots and translocated to the leaves of the tobacco plant where it accumulates, right? True alkaloids are rarely occur in lower plants. Nearly 300 alkaloids belonging to more than 24 classes are found in the skin of amphibians. Some indole and isoquinoline alkaloids were isolated from mammals, including mammalian morphine. Next is classification of alkaloids. First is taxonomical classification. Taxonomical classification is based on the distribution of alkaloids in various plant families, like solanaceous alkaloids present in family solanaceae or Papillionaceous alkaloids present in family Papillionaceae, right? Sometimes they are grouped as per the name of grouped genus in which they occur. For example, ephedrine, present in genus ephedra, then synchonine, present in plant, synchona, etc., right? Next is pharmacological classification. This classification is based on the physiological action or uh, biological activity of alkaloids uh, on animals like central nervous system stimulants or uh, depressants, then sympathomimetics, analgesics, purgatives, etc. Then chemical classification. Chemical classification is most accepted way to specify the alkaloids. Alkaloids are categorized into three divisions in chemical classification. First is true alkaloids. True alkaloids have heterocyclic ring with nitrogen. 
and uh, they are derived from amino acids. Then protoalkaloids. Protoalkaloids does not have heterocyclic ring with nitrogen and derived from amino acids. And last one, pseudoalkaloids. Pseudoalkaloids have heterocyclic ring with nitrogen and derived from terpenoids or purines, but not derived from amino acids. Then biosynthetic classification. This method gives significance to the precursor or the starting compound from which the alkaloids are biosynthesized in the plants. Right? For example, all indole alkaloids from tryptophan are grouped together. All alkaloids derived from amino acid precursors are grouped in the same class, such as ornithine derived alkaloids. Then lysine, tyrosine, phenyl alanine, or tryptophan derived alkaloids, etc. Next is biosynthesis of alkaloids. Biosynthesis of different group of alkaloids have been investigated to some extent using precursors labeled with radioactive atoms. Precursors like ornithine, tryptophan, phenyl alanine, tyrosine, etc., right? Ornithine uh, is an amino acid, is a precursor or starting compound of the synthesis of tropine alkaloids. Tryptophan is starting compound for the synthesis of quinoline alkaloids. Phenylalanine is starting product in most of the amino acid derived alkaloids like ephedrine. Tyrosine is the starting product of a large family of alkaloids including isoquinoline or tryptophan and mevalonic acid are starting precursors in the biosynthesis of indole alkaloids, right? The alkaloids biosynthetic pathway vary greatly in different plants. Today, we will discuss only three key reactions which form the cornerstone of the biosynthesis of alkaloids. These three reactions are number one the manic reaction of a shift base with the nucleophile then second one is pictet spangler condensation reaction and third one is phenolic coupling reaction when an aldehyde or a ketone condenses with an amine an elimination of a water occurs. Just look at this reaction. When aldehyde or a ketone condenses with an amine and elimination of water occurs, the product which is formed is called Schiff base, right? This species is very powerful electrophile and uh, can attract a nucleophilic cation from any one of uh, a number of sources. When the Schiff base is attacked uh, intermolecularly by an aromatic nucleus, the product is often either a tetrahydroisoquinoline or a tetrahydrobeta carboline. Right? This process is known as Pictet Spangler reaction. Then, phenolic coupling reaction. When phenolic hydroxyl group is oxidized by loss of a hydrogen radical, a highly reactive radical intermediates are formed, right? A, B, C. These are radical intermediates, right? Which can be trapped either internally or by another radical containing unit to form several different products right these are the different products including those derived from carbon oxygen bond formation this product is formed carbon carbon bond formation at the positions ortho when ortho ortho then this product is formed for ortho para this product is formed or 
para para right this seventh product is formed these are the different products right in this way new linkages and a variety of new basic uh, alkaloid skeletal can be produced right from these products uh, different alkaloids are formed right next is pharmacological action of alkaloids from the beginning of civilization alkaloid containing plant extracts have been used in all culture as medicine and uh, also as poisons alkaloids are used as a remedy for painkillers stimulants muscle relaxants tranquilizers anesthetics antimalarial antimicrobial anti diabetic anti cancerous anti, anti hiv antioxidant etc when alkaloids with narcotic or analgesic properties have found application in medicines for example morphine atropine and quinine some alkaloids served as model compound for modern synthetic drugs whereas several are abused as illegal drugs like cocaine right a number of alkaloids are too toxic for any therapeutic use for example quinine and strychnine right if you remember a greek philosopher socrates socrates died in 399 bc by consumption of this alkaloid quinine uh containing hemlock it is from uh, uh, conium maculatum plant right so this is all about alkaloids just an overview thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe for more thank you